Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous videos, video, we designed the layout elements using screen painter. Now we will continue from there itself. This is our label input output field. I'll say better, it's a input field only. So I'll remove the output field checkbox. And for these particular four fields, we remove the input checkbox because these are our output fields. Now I will save the layout. It's your wish. You want to activate from here or you can close the screen painter. You can activate directly the program also. It's your wish how you want to go. I think it's already open somewhere. I will close. I will go to display mode and I will activate the whole program. Yesterday, we already, we already covered in the previous videos. Please make sure whenever you will run, your module pool program should be fully active because we have lots of small, small modules there. I will run and show you the, the output. I will execute in a new window. I will remove the breakpoints so that you can directly see the output. And you can see this is our layout. Order number, value of order number, button, and these are our output. Now, our next thing is to write the logic. We will write a logic to fetch data from order header table and we will bind with these four screen fields. We will proceed with this particular part. I will double click on the program. This is our top of the program. This is our main program area. I will declare one structure here for order header table. And we know how to create a structure using types statement. Begin of. Suppose my name of the structure is LTY underscore data. And it is very easy to create a structure. You should always open the table in a new session and you can copy this. It's very easy to create a structure. Order number. Type. Data element of order number. But the next column we want. Order date. Type. I will pass the data element for order date. Now, next. After that, we have payment. Whatever the columns are required in the output, we are creating a structure of the same. Payment mode type data element of payment mode. Total amount type data element of total amount. Now we will write currency type data element for currency. I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare internal table and work area data. Internal table type table of what is my structure name? LTY underscore data. Now I will declare the work area. LS underscore data 
टाइप एल टी वाई अंडर स्कोर डेटा सो माई स्ट्रक्चर इंटरनल टेबल वर्क एरिया आर रेडी एक्टिवेट दिस इट इज एक्टिव नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड where we have to write the logic where we have to write the code i will run the program and we will go for understanding suppose user will pass the order number and user will click on the submit button we know whenever user will perform a action on the screen process after input of that particular screen will call so we will write the logic in process after input event of this particular screen we will proceed with that part we will go to 100 screen this is process after input of screen 100 i will double click on the module which is the part of pai event here i will write the code here i will write the code how to write i will write select what is my first column name o number o date payment mode total amount currency i am fetching the data of five columns i will pa pass the table name from which table i am fetching from my database table i will store into internal table into table what is my internal table lt underscore data where order number is equal to this is the important part that what is the input what is the input if i will show you the i'll i will run this program and show you what is the input this is the input based upon this input you have to fetch data from order header table if you see or if you remember what the name you gave in the layout to this particular element if i will double click and show you if i will go to screen painter if i will double click and if you remember what the name we gave table name hyphen column name this is our input variable name input name which we gave so i'll simply copy this and pass in the where condition where order number is equal to this so if you are passing the input 1 it will be in this will variable will be equal to 1 order number is equal to 1 it will fetch data from order header table based upon the input 1 and data will come into this internal table rest part will continue in the next video thank you